Good morning and welcome to another on the road vlog. You know how these things work. I start off here and I end up somewhere else. Today I'm headed back to LA for another round of Goosebumps slappy fun. Nothing quite as major as a trailer launch but still it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I won't waste any more of your time. Let's get to that montage thing. You know how this works. I'm here at the airport now. Got about an hour and a half till my flight leaves. I gotta catch my bus. Cue the next montage. I have been here so much lately. I know this place like the back of my hand. That's new. Security, where you can always go for some awkward eye contact. A17. Based on past experiences, that means all the way down on the other end. But God has smiled upon me today. Not only am I an hour and change early, but it's the first gate on the concourse. And the bathrooms are just two steps away from the terminal. It's like Disney's sad dreams do come true. It's good to be environmentally friendly and recycle in the appropriate uh, receptacles. But this particular one dumps everything in the exact same bag. It's a conspiracy. I just spent the last hour sitting here in the terminal. This is the city with open his beach and actually had to go in process. Any small carriers fall in duffel bags, items such as purses, please place these items beneath the seat in front of you. I spent the last hour here in the terminal uh, sending out some Facebook messages because I'm going to LA and I'm kind of determined to see Muppets while I'm there. We're about to board now. As you can see, it is incredibly packed. So it's gonna be one of those fun flights. I'm supposed to be at the window, so that's gonna have to be good enough for me. something pretty cool. I land, I get a phone call from Muppet legend Kurt Thatcher who has hooked me up with a set visit for the new Muppets at ABC. I am running to meet my car because I'm just barely going to make it. I also desperately need to pee but there's no time for that. I can get used to these fancy cars. I won't, but I could. You see what this is? They gave me a thing. They gave me a thing. Yeah. My phone was immediately confiscated, which I respect. I have witnessed awesomeness, and I can't talk about any of it. I got to meet some performers I haven't had a chance to meet yet. They just wrapped a lot of people, so there weren't a lot of people around, but I got to see a lot of the set and the workshop. Just fantastic. Fantastic. I'm gonna say that again. Fantastic. Again, thanks to Kirk Thatcher for doing this for me. I've never even met the guy, and he did something so awesome for me, so I thank you again, sir. I owe you one, although I have no idea how I would pay that back. And now I'm just waiting on a taxi to get me the 40 minutes back to the place I was supposed to end today's journey. Cab ride later, I'm finally checked into my room with the nice view with the, the stuff. I'm gonna go track down some food and then I'm gonna go to bed because my body has been through an emotional roller coaster of a day. It's 89 degrees, but there's actually a breeze here, which is a much needed break from the weather we're having at home. You know, the kind of weather where you walk the two feet from your house to your car and you need a shower. Must be the palm trees. All right, Los Angeles, I think I pulled about as much excitement out of today as I possibly can, and now I need my rest because I gotta go deal with that stupid dummy in the morning, so I'm out. Good morning, Los Angeles. Here we are for day two. Here's a funny little story for you. I was asleep last night, and the AC in this room has been kicking. So I got up, turned off the AC, laid back down. A few minutes later, I heard a very loud sound, and then this happened. Apparently, it is a very bad idea to turn the AC off. So now I'm just gonna wait here in my non-air conditioned room and wait to get picked up to get taken to Sony so I can hang out with Slappy and do another video shoot. Like always, I'm not gonna take this camera with me so I don't look unprofessional. Okay, uh, next one. Three, two, one, go. 
Oh, he was great. We became really close friends. I said to him, Jack, I know we're going to be friends forever. Or else. <laughs> Puppets and cards and all sorts of exciting things happening here today. This is the weirdest thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah, we you're a puppeteer. <laughs> Can we go to Chuck E. Cheese? I want to go to a Chuck E. Cheese. As I walk back in my room, it is exactly 12 hours from when I left earlier today. Anybody who says puppeteering is not really work has never done it. Spent the whole day doing probably another 200 plus videos with Slappy. A lot of cool stuff, a lot to look forward to. All of which will be released between now and the time the film comes out in less than two months. But I gotta catch a plane in just about 11 hours. So I'm not gonna be entertaining anymore. So I'm just gonna call it a night. Please. Day three. Shouldn't have pressed snooze. It is now 7.15 apparently, and I am about to begin my voyage home. It's been an awesome, fantastic, wonderful, and a whole bunch of other adjectives two days, but I'm so ready to get back to my little corner of the world and do something creative because I've been so inspired over the last couple of days to make something. I don't even know what, but this trip really sparked something for me, and I'm so excited to get some more funny out there. It started as soon as I landed, even. People have been so exceptionally nice to me. I'm so appreciative for everything, and I got way too serious there, so blah, blah, blah. Look at this. Alarm will sound as a whooping horn, and the strobe lights will flash. I'm gonna go back to this word, whooping. Horn. I know what that means, but this is now one of the strangest sentences I've ever read in my life. Alright, I'm about to put the camera away. Rory, I'm coming home. There was no Oh Tom talk this time, but my driver and I did bond over laughing at people dance to their music at red lights. It was a beautiful moment. Store. Not just a toy store, a toy experience. What am I even doing with my hand right now? Just landed back in Atlanta and just had my first experience flying through a lightning storm, so that was nice. And you remember two days ago when my gate was right inside the terminal? Well, the airport is getting back at me for that convenience because my gate's way down there. Baggage claim is about six miles in that direction. <laughs> Should have seen it coming. You know how this goes, it is time for one last montage. And now our journey has come to an end. I had an awesome couple of days, and I'll be going back very soon. Until the next time, peace. Yeah.